Good morning. Folks, we'll be looking at several good bits of science today. A long-term trend in the atmosphere, two articles on solar forcing, and one on the nearby galactic conditions. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, another quiet day, and another day of it being unexpected. No significant solar flares, but we've got big sunspots, new sunspots, and a major plasma filament in the Earth-facing position. Eruptive activity has been absent for a few days, and that is very surprising, given the extremely well-developed sunspots on the disk. Folks, as they say, this is why they play the game. The favorite doesn't always win. These big sunspots have the size and magnetic complexity to make big flares. They've simply refused to do so. Meanwhile, we have new spots incoming, one of which is a baby, brand new, and is growing very quickly. Eyes on the filaments and the new sunspots. First up in the articles today is a good one on the mesosphere. This is the layer above the stratosphere and right below the ionosphere. It is shrinking. This multi-decadal long-term trend is on top of the decadal trends driven by the sunspot cycle and is the first reporting of yet another long-term trend in the atmosphere. This one also most likely driven by the geomagnetic excursion unfolding at Earth. Up next, we've got one on significant cycles of temperature and precipitation over the northern Bacal region. They found these cycles are intimately linked to solar forcing in the sunspot cycle. Similarly, this one finds a direct impact on solar forcing on high-level clouds. Very appropriate given our various recent videos describing how the sun impacts clouds, including one from last night. Nice of them to drop a paper saying the exact same thing. And last but not least, their models of the distant heliosphere are not at all giving them the correct predictions for neutrals and pickup ions. This is one of the groups that does not use the galactic current sheet model, and they're paying for it. They describe here that it is likely something they're not seeing in the very local interstellar medium, and I'll go ahead and agree with that big time. The thing they're missing is the impact from that galactic current sheet, furthering our certainty that the interplanetary signs of dust, neutrals, and ions increasing is due to this galactic level interaction which is causing the disaster cycle reset on our planet and the entire solar system shift. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.